Hello again. Thanks for watching another episode. We're up at the arable farm again. Now winter's really closing in and it's biting hard. And all the rats are coming out to play. And some of them are coming out to get shot. Nice of your mates to run off and leave you. Mates like that, who needs enemies? So that's one down. I spot this one up in the corner. Just to the left of that is the grain store. There's a huge pile of grain over there. And now has a huge pile of grain with a rat on top. So the workshop's next door to the grain store and they're climbing around all the machinery. And they'll go up into the rafters there and they climb along the top and into the grain store on the other side. Here's the quad bike. I don't know how to break it to him. He's not going for a ride. He's going in the ground. I don't need to say anything now anyway. He's not going to listen. Quick scan about. Nothing really there except this one. Now that's a steel shipping container on the right hand side, but there's a very flimsy barn wall behind them, so I'll bottle this shot, I'll be honest. I don't want to miss or go through his face and put a hole in the wall. Outside, completely different story. He's going for a little ride through the pipes. <laughs> Wasn't the best shot, I'll be honest. He did expire about a foot into that pipe. I picked it up and dropped him out. But he's dead. Proper dead. That's love a good junk pile, don't they? Just broke that one. Hey, look at me, standing up on two legs. I'll be walking, talking and shooting like you next. Do you know what? You won't. I love how his mate's like, quiet, John. Keep the noise down, don't draw attention to us. Oh, bit too late. They are starting to wander out in the yard quite readily now, looking for food. But you can see how he's hiding under this board. Rats like a bit cover above them like a pallet or a board. Makes them feel safe from airborne killers. Excluding pellets, of course. Good clean kill there. Made a real mess. There we go. Blurred that a little bit just to keep YouTube off my back. Back in the workshop, I spotted this little gap. I saw it on the thermal, straight on the infrared, got him about an inch wide, pedal straight down there. Smash these off switch, power down straight away. You can see the pedal come flying in on the replay. Nice. I don't like one up here. It's a real pain. They don't always fall. There's about an inch and a half, two inch gap behind that girder. Eat. Good night. Oh, come on. Come on. He's showing his helicopter tail. But the thing is, he's facing the wrong direction, and when they start to kick, if he was facing me, he'd drop himself on the floor. But of course, straight down the back. I'm building up quite a collection of rats down the back of there at the moment. Hiding, are we? No, you're not. Nailed you there. So this is the back wall of the green store. It's, it's got a wooden back and they've chewed a hole through and they're coming through. So what I've done is I've spread some Nutella, chocolate paste and, and Snickers paste all around the outside of that to draw them out. They can smell it and they come out. They're not necessarily eating it, but they're coming out. This one here comes straight down the floor for the grain. The effort I went to, to mix that stuff up and he goes for the boring grain. So I'll give him 13. 0.43 grain in the form of a GSB exact RS pellet of that. This youngster's enjoying the feed on the back wall. Very small rat actually. I shot him 
and I absolutely turned him inside out. Literally, he was wearing his inside and his outside. It looks like I dragged him through a bush backwards. So I can't show you that footage, but trust me, he's probably dead. Back outside. Now, just to the right of this is where I shot his buddy against the wall. He moves just at the wrong time. The pellet lands and injures him, but a quick follow-up shot nails them to the ground. Nosy neighbour. Nobody likes a nosy neighbour, do they? Back in the workshop on the quad bike again. I've got another wannabe off-roader. They enjoy climbing and it's a real pain in the backside sometimes when they get into machinery like this because they climb into it, on it, around it and you can't always get the shot. So if you know there's one there, have a look around. There might be a second or third that you can get the shot on. As it happens, this one sticks his head out and he gets nailed straight away. Absolutely anchored him straight away. Underneath a shipping container and what do I find? Look at this, little family of three. Looks like mummy and two baby rats. I spy, with my little eye, someone's put a pellet in mummy's eye. That's ruined her day. The youngsters don't know what to do, so I'll, I'll just shoot them. Double shot on that one because I wasn't sure if I'd hit it. I did, and it was dead. I'd killed it twice. And there's another one under there. Rat trick. Come on. What was he saying, Die Hard? Welcome to the party, pal. Come on. Stand still. When he does eventually stand still, I pull the rifle. Watch. Idiot. Nearly got four in a row there. Back in the green store, where the first one of the evening was shot, there's a couple of them out playing again. Just choosing the best one to take the shot on. Looks like him at the front, because he's sitting there. Good as gold, eating all the grain. High body shot because his head was off to one side. Just drop another couple of shots in there to finish him off. Good and proper. Back outside, just at the side of the workshop. And another one down. Back out in the main yard, I spotted a heat signature in the back of one of the other barns. So I lined up and took a shot. Quite a dramatic death. Nice little roll over to one side to make a point. But he's dead. Nice clean headshot. See the tail going and the back legs kicking. Let's have another look at that. I'm cheeky not to check the workshop before I go. And I'm glad I did because I've got one more. Smashed him in the face. He's off for a long-term dirt nap. Good evening overall. I think I shot probably 23, 24 altogether. Not all of them could be retrieved, but this is a small collection of what I did recover. Thanks for watching.